Hey guys, how's it going? This is Mike from MNR Automotive. Today we have a Tesla Cybertruck and we're installing a slim 40 inch curved light bar. So let's start with the install. The first thing I like to do is take out the front lighter. And the reason we're doing that is when we're wiring, when we're routing the wire, we're going to be connecting it underneath this liner panel. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and remove everything from here. Take off these two covers. There's one on each side. Now we're gonna remove these four bolts that are holding the front down. Next thing we want to remove is the top trim panel. It's just held by clips. And I just wanna show you all the clips that we removed in order to take this piece off. There's two 10 millimeter bolts that are holding the front liner here. So here's one and the other one's on the other side. So the front area also has one plastic latch on each side. So what you wanna do is kind of wiggle it around and turn it counterclockwise until it unlatches and you just pull them out. So that's one. And just wiggle it, that's two. So now we can technically pull it out, but we need to take count. There is a wiring harness here, there's a button. So lift up the driver's side panel and there's a harness here. You just wanna pinch it, wiggle it side to side and pull it out. And there's also a windshield washer cap that's gonna be in the way of you pulling off the front. So what I like to do, I just kind of remove it put it to the side, we'll reapply it later. Now we just pick up the whole trunk area and remove it from the truck. Now we're gonna remove the factory plastic covers. I'm just gonna grab it where the inside of the hook is and kind of just wiggle it upwards and forwards. And they're just held on clips, so it should make it fairly easy to get out. So here you go. Just unclip everything and get out the way. So here's the MNR brackets that are going to replace the factory plastic inserts. So we're not going to be reusing these, we're just going to replace them with the MNR version and the light bar is going to sit in between these two tabs. So let me show you how to install it. So let's go ahead and take out this bolt. This is the thread that we're going to be using for the MNR bracket. So now we're going to use the MNR bracket. We're going to use the supplied hardware bolt as well as a spacer on the back of the bracket and thread it in here. Now we're going to tighten these all the way. I like to put the light bar in between the M&R mounts and do these bolts last. So let's do the same thing on the passenger side. We're going to take out this factory bolt. We're going to thread the M&R hardware, put the spacer on the back, and install it. So now that the mounts are installed, let's go ahead and route the wiring and install the light bar in between the tabs. All right, so we have the M&R brackets installed. Let's go ahead and run the wire. Before I mount the light bar, I like to route the wire behind the brackets because we're gonna have to get it in the front. I'm gonna go ahead and feed the light bar wire behind. I'm gonna feed most of it through. And then what we're gonna do, if you look through here, there is an opening to get the wire into the front. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this wire and I'm gonna feed it into the front and pull it out. So now once you feed it in the front area, we're gonna go ahead and get the slack out. So now when I'm inside the light bar, all the wire slack gets routed. So now we're ready to install the light bar through the MNR brackets. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the supplied hardware. And now I can pull on the slack of the wire to feed it through. Got all the wire in the front. Wow, take a look. I really like how this looks on the Cybertruck bumper. It's the same contour and it flows right with it. Looks amazing. Okay, so let's start with the wiring. What we're gonna use is a step-down converter. Uh, the Cybertruck is actually 48 volts, so you cannot connect 48 volts to a 12 volt light bar. It's gonna burn it. So what you wanna do, you wanna get a step-down converter. The input voltage is 48, the output voltage is 12. So we need a plus and minus on the 48 volt, and that's gonna produce us plus and minus on the 12. So this side goes towards the Cybertruck, this one is towards our light bar. We're gonna use an auxiliary switch that is turned on by the display. So you do have the wiring actually in a bundle here in the front. Tesla provided you with a power wire. There's actually three wires in here, and let's take a look. Take off the blue film. Let's go ahead and take off this electrical tape and see what color schemes we have. So when looking at the wiring, the red with the blue stripe is the positive for our switch. 
and then the brown with the blue stripe, that's gonna be our ground. So that's how we're gonna wire it up to a step down converter. We're not gonna worry about the green wire. I think it's some kind of communication cable, which is not power, so we're not gonna use it. So once again, the red is gonna be our power and the brown is gonna be our ground. We're gonna take the tips off and I'm gonna install crimp connectors. So I'm gonna put a crimp on the brown. I like to double crimp to make sure that the wire doesn't come out. And I'm gonna put a crimp on the red cable. So what we're gonna do here on the 48 volt of the step down converter, we're gonna use those two wires. So we're gonna go red to red. And we're gonna go black to brown on the 48 volt side. I'm gonna tug on my wires to make sure I have a good crimp. So just to recap, we went red wire to red wire on the input, brown wire to black wire on the input on the 48 volt side. On the 12 volt side, we have the yellow wire, which is the positive, and then we have a black wire, which is the ground. So these are gonna go towards the light bar. Now that we connected the step down converter to the power source on the ground, let's go ahead and connect the light bar to it. So your light bar is gonna come with two wires, a red and black. The red is the positive, and the black is the ground. So I'm gonna put two crimp connectors on here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go yellow wire to red. That's gonna provide power to our light bar. And then the black wire is gonna be the ground. And it's as easy as that. All right, so let's go ahead and test it. We're gonna click home. We're gonna click on outlets and mods. And we're gonna turn on the front power feed. Now let's go ahead and take a look. This is our slim 40 inch curved light bar and it's also available in amber. Thank you guys for watching. I know you guys are gonna love the product. So after firing up the light bar, we've noticed one thing. You are not able on the screen to turn on off, on, off, on. So I've tested that theory by turning it off and I still saw voltage in the line. It's not the module, it's not the light. It's the electrical system of the Cybertruck. So look, right now we're showing zero volts. Okay, I'm gonna go turn it on. So the light bar is on. There is 48 volts going to our module, and you can see it on the voltmeter, 46 volts. But when you turn it off, it's gonna go out gradually. So technically it will not allow you to cycle on off multiple times. You're gonna have to wait a minute in between for all the voltage to drop. I'm gonna turn it off on the screen and then we're gonna hop and, and, and track the voltage. Now it's off, and let's go check on the voltage. It'll still have some voltage going to it. Here, see eight, and it's going down, seven, six if you decide to use your light bar leave it on if you turn it off you you know that you need at least a, maybe a one minute cool down period in order to turn it back on it's not a constant on off like a normal 12 volt system on a 48 it needs time for it to actually drain all the energy off 